Hello everyone, welcome to What's Trending in China. On June 2, Huawei launched its flagship operating system, Harmony 2.0, or as also called in Chinese, Hongmeng 2.0. The tagline for Harmony 2.0 operating system is one for all and all for one. And what is different in this operating system is very clear from this tagline. Uh, for a very long time, a major demand for various operators was how to connect different hardwares with a single operating system, especially with the arrival of Internet of Things. Various hardwares need different operating systems to connect. This operating system, Harmony operating system or Hongmeng 2.0 is designed to connect various electronic devices and it has already been employed in electronic devices. With this launch of Hongmeng 2.0, Huawei also launched Mate 40 series of smartphones compatible with Hongmeng 2.0 operating system. Harmony 2.0 is a micro kernel based operating system as different or as opposed from other macro kernel based operating systems. It does not require different hardware storage on the device. So it connects with various hardwares automatically that have this operating system. So it could connect dishwashers to vacuum cleaners to watches to mobile phones automatically without any manual intervention. So if you connect your drone camera with your mobile phone, you can have a drone eye view from your mobile phone without leaving the ground. Though it has been a lot, it has long been desired by Huawei to develop its own operating system. The real progress are to begin in 2019 when first United States started removing Huawei mobile phones from retail shelves and then Google stopped providing Android updates to Huawei. So your Huawei had to find an alternative. It started to develop its own operating system, which was called Harmony or Hongmeng in 2019. Google provide mobile infrastructure in form of Google Mobile Services or GSM updates for its Android users so that Android can run various everyday use apps smoothly on their systems. Now, once Google stopped giving these updates to Huawei, Huawei had to find a solution to run its mobile phones on Android. Although Google has not been providing GSM, Google Mobile Services updates, still phones in China, smartphones in China are being run on Android system. How is that possible? Because Android was not developed by Google, it was acquired in 2005. And Android has another variation that was open source and it can be used by manufacturers. So phones in China, smartphones in China, either they come without GMS, Google Mobile Services, or the service is off in the mobile phones. Now Huawei has developed its own Huawei Mobile Services or HMS. In terms of user experience, Harmony operating system or Hongmeng 2.0 is not very different from Android system. And that is what Huawei is looking for, to have a seamless transition from Google Android updates, Google mobile services to Huawei mobile services, HMS. And with the launch of Harmony series of operating system and especially Hongmeng 2.0, Huawei has taken a lead in the operating system market for Internet of Thing operations, where different hardwares can be connected with a single operating system without a need to transition or without a need to install separate softwares. So as we know, early days of computing, it was dominated by Microsoft the computers where they had the operating system in form of Windows. Then mobile operating systems were dominated by Apple with iOS and Android. And this, this third generation of operating systems, which connect Internet of Things, Huawei has taken a lead with the launch of Harmony series of operating systems and especially with this launch of Harmony 2.0 or Hongmeng 2.0 on June 2.